Well, tonight, some lawmakers are working to give parents more control in the classroom. Ohio Republicans just introduced new legislation that would give parents the right to review, quote, sexually explicit content and the right to demand an alternative. Tim TV's Keanu Dice just explains why some say this proposal is concerning. The president of the Ohio Education Association says the biggest concern is that the bill doesn't clarify how they define sexually explicit content or what they're trying to rule out. In a debate over censorship in schools, Republican lawmakers say it's the parents' job to control what their kids are learning. In a statement, State Rep Sarah Carruther says many parents across Ohio believe that schools should provide notification and transparency on certain materials prior to instruction. She introduced the Parents' Bill of Rights Act. Meanwhile, some educators say it's bad for students and teachers. It is shameful. It prevents us from uh, giving students uh, the learning opportunities that they need and deserve. Uh, and it's also bad for educators because uh, it is not honoring the professionalism uh, of the education profession. Scott DeMauro is president of the Ohio Education Association. He says he's not sure how this bill would change things if it passes, adding that there are already processes at local school districts for parents to access and review curriculum and request accommodations for their children. That has nothing to do with the well-being of students. Uh, it has nothing to do with the realities of our schools. It's all about politicizing what happens in education. He says he's worried that it may change how students learn about science. There's no exception uh, that's created for teaching of science, teaching anatomy, teaching about health. Um, you know, those are subject areas where sometimes you're going to you're, you're going to talk about, for example, uh, the reproductive system. I mean, that's just that's just the nature of you know, that content. The bill awaits further action. The General Assembly is set to return after November elections. In Columbus, Keanu Deitches, 10 TV News.